we invite you to interact with comments using emojis throughout this service and write down your praises and amens, as well as your responses as the service goes on. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is a good day to listen to the wisdom raising in her voice. This is a good day to acquire God's wisdom. This is a good day to follow God's wisdom. Siblings, would you join us to worship? Let us pray. Divine wisdom, source of our lives. You who were there before the beginning. We are thankful for the ways in which you take us to the places where justice is to be made. For pushing us to interrupt systems that are not okay. We thank you for the protesters who break evil rhythms. Divine wisdom, who some call Sophie. Give us visions, make us works of art. Lead us on the path full of your wisdom. Us who are the beloved community, let it be so. Amen. Ashe. Scripture in Korean. 지혜가 부르지 아니하느냐. 명철이 소리를 높이지 아니하느냐. 잠언 8장 1절 말씀. 아멘. And 
now in Spanish. ¿Acaso no está llamando a la sabiduría que no deja oír su voz la inteligencia? situation. By way of introduction, I'm Julian DeShazier, but you could call me JN. I thought a lot about today and what I might discuss and decided after being silent that the only thing to say was right in front of our faces. I look at race and think of our place and doing something about it. I see young leaders and buildings on fire. And where some see a problem, I see Sophia. Let me take a moment to explain this how I see wisdom in the anguish or God in destruction, divine in the rage. That ain't quite what I'm saying, but if you go back to Proverbs, we might understand. The scriptures say wisdom was there in the beginning, at the start of earth before it starts spinning. There was God making mountains, sort of like beats, made rivers and sheep, children in the street. And when, when it was time for hip hop, God made me the kind of wisdom from a master worker who had the vision to see my face and say I was perfect. Kind of odd how we see what God blessed and then curse it. How we look in the mirror and all we notice is the worst stuff. Anyway, they said it was good. Back in the day now, still let the logic of the one who made us. Or when something crazy, like I'm looking at today while recording this to know that God is still amazing. The one who organized creation will come and save us. That's kind of what this proverb is insisting on saying, that a sister who made her bed might not have to lay in it. That if we find wisdom, we find life and grace in it. To see in every single moment, God's embracing it. To look behind us and see all the beauty. As a reminder, we belong to that same God. The Genesis, the Proverbs is cool. To dismiss any of that, I have to be a fool. I come from Sankofa where you look into the past to point the way forward because the only thing we have is the knowledge that whatever did that still stands. It's interesting, Sophia is the name, but when we talk about God, we refer to it as a man. For today, let's do something different mostly. I want to talk about a girl who I know named Sophie. With that kind of name, she like Mexican, right? It's hard to know where she's from. We just know she ain't white. A lot of people try to claim her and say she with them on the low, but she told me she ain't have no man. I'm like, cool. So that means we could, uh, you know, she looked back with that expression. No. Attitude like she from around the way. Told her I would love to take her out on a date. And if we went to eat, I would gladly pay. Her eyes perked up. She said, okay, Jay, pay attention. I am not a typical girl. And no girl is. Realize that, sir. I come to take you out and show you the town. And open your eyes to how I get down. I got excited like, man, that's great. I'm going out with her and she gonna pay. She picked me up prompt. I was still not dressed. Came out late and she did not stress. I said, okay, Sophie, where to next? You know, this woman took me to a protest. I'm kind of looking like, man, I guess. If I'd have known this, I wouldn't have got this fresh. She looked at me. I ain't have to say one thing. If I'd have told you, then you wouldn't have came. I mean, who can really know anything? She ain't know that about me. She said, if you want to leave, you can. But think about that when you talk to me again. I said, nah, I'd rather stay for sure. I too want to liberate the poor. I too want to see the black man free. And this, if this will do it, then this is where I'll be. She like cold and let's walk to the back. Coronavirus, so you know I had my mask. The person in the front started leading the chant. I looked next to me like where she went. I look around and I start to get scared like somebody snatched my girl out here. We supposed to be peaceful. I look up and see Sophie in the front leading chants with the people. I try to move forward through the crowd and I see Sophie next to me yelling out loud. Like, am I going crazy right now? That she right here and up front sway how? That's when I take a step back and see 
that everybody around is turned into Sophie. Black woman, queer, turned into Sophie. Man in the wheelchair, looking like Sophie. Because justice for all, we all need Sophie. Her wisdom leading from the back, but she leading from the front too. Sometimes we need to see wisdom in front of you. Sometimes Sophie is where we don't want to go and things we don't want to do. Sometimes Sophie lives in the uncomfortable. Sometimes God's love is not here to comfort you. It's here to push us out of the hive because that's what it means to be alive. Because sometimes they try to block the sun out. So sometimes we got to start a fire. I ain't saying violence is the answer. I'm saying I'm surrounded by violence. And every single system I engage in, you violent against me every day. And then when I break rank, you say, that's not okay. Sometimes we need to be led. Sometimes we need to be fed. Sometimes you got to protest in the name of God. Only way something happens then. I'm breaking it up a little bit, right? Because I know your ears after four or five, almost six minutes here, it's like, slow down. I've never done this before. I never heard like the spoken word. Like, I, I just want to thank these protesters. And I think we all need to thank these protesters who, when Laquan McDonald was murdered, uh, offered their bodies and shut down traffic and did what the regular rhythm would not make room for. Sometimes you got to break the rhythm but to make a new rhythm, you got to break the rhythm. And, and Chicago has a new police chief because of them. And so much change in this city because of them. So good that now people want to sabotage this effort. That's how good the protests are effective, that now people want to turn the protests into a riot. That should tell you how powerful this moment is. I thank God for protesters who work up the blood and the sweat for you and me who then criticize them for making life a little bit better. I thank God for Sophia who wouldn't do nothing if we let her. I'm thankful she don't listen to me. I'm thankful she give vision to me. I'm thankful that in all of this pain, Sophia hit me up and she's still spitting through me. A broke vessel still being put together. A work of art, I am Kent Sugi. Excited for what she will show me. Excited for where we're yet going. Knowing the past is full of wisdom. And in the future, in the unknown, I see Sophie, the one who everybody wanted, who told me that I always had her. I see Sophie, the one who I thought once left me, but when she came back, got badder. I see Sophie leading us into the BC. BC, I ain't talking about the past. Beloved community waiting on us to catch up. There she go up front and stop looking at her ass. <laughs> I love y'all. Amen. Thank you, Reverend, for that wonderful word. Now we invite you, everyone who's watching and listening right now, we invite you to respond. Use your chance and answer this question. What is Sophie leading you to do as part of the beloved community? Come on, everyone. Just take this moment to respond to the word. What is Sophie leading you to do as part of the beloved community. This is our day, this is our race when the day is given us a calling, a purpose, present the living Lord. This is our day, this is our race when the day is given us a calling, a purpose, present the living Lord. Don't give in. Oh! 